I went to the eight-year-old boy's house in hope to snitch to his mum about him robbing me at gunpoint. At first, she tried to shut the door on us, but after we showed her proof, she let us inside. <laughs> what? What is going on? That's when we went looking through his room for the weapon. And just as you thought, that's exactly what we found. Oh yeah, that's where everyone keeps their gun, next to their secret bottle of pride. <laughs> so this is Lewis Clark, a YouTuber you may well be familiar with because I made a couple of videos on him years and years ago. And honestly, I had totally forgotten about him because as I said, the videos I made were years and years ago. Until this video came up on my For You page and I was like, oh, he's still making these videos? Now, if you don't know what sort of videos he makes, it's quite hard to explain because they're, they're kind of like exploring horror skit videos because they're not real, but they're filmed in such a way that you could think that they were real. And there's always some form of villain element to these. Now, obviously, as I said, these are not real. He even puts in the depths of the description that it's not real, but people somehow believe these videos are real. It's insane. People genuinely think Lewis Clark was held at gunpoint by an eight-year-old. And not just that, they believe a hotel cleaner took his girlfriend hostage and a guy that murdered some girls is after him. All of these events, which have probably individually happened to like two people ever in history, have all happened to Lewis in the space of a few weeks. But I thought we'd watch the video I went to the 12-year-old mum's house to snitch on him, which is the sequel to 12-year-old kid found living in abandoned caravan police calls. Now, I know a lot of you are crying out. You're shouting at your computer screen, your phone screen, your TV. Why are we jumping to the sequel? Because the first one is very boring, that's why. Come on, I we're going. No! Get off, Get off him. I think you guys need to leave now. Wow, what an intro. Lewis Clark trying to drag a 12-year-old boy out of his house. So the context here is that he stole his mate's chain in the last video, which apparently justifies storming into his house and, and trying to drag and grab him. Right, I'm currently on my way to the 12-year-old boy. Yeah, that's, not, that's not the first time a YouTuber said that sentence. He stole off us. And what he stole wasn't something like. He stole Harvey's dead nan, rest in peace her dead his dead nan's chain right she left him a chain after she passed away and it has so much sentimental value it's not even about the money no, do you know what i mean terrible. i love how his mate next to him is just trying to act dead fuming about the whole situation oh yeah can't believe it lewis i can't believe it i can't believe he stole it oh. great acting he's not overdoing it by screaming and shouting uh we found out where his mum lives he said she was dead she's not dead <laughs> I got robbed with me because Harvey said he'd do something he would regret if he found this boy again. I mean, he probably just wasn't around for filming this day, wasn't he? Like, <laughs> like that, that's probably it. So we've not brought Harvey today for safety reasons. Well, in case he kicks the shit out of a 12-year-old in his own house for stealing his necklace. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I'm talking like this is real. It obviously isn't. But it's just the plot of this is so stupid. It's so stupid. Rob's coming along for the ride. We're going to get his chain back. We are going to get his chain back. Great input, Rob. But as I said, the mum's not dead, they're just separated from the dad. And the reason we know this is we went and linked up with a dad yesterday. Fucking hell, all right, MI5, how are you tracking down both his parents? What, what information are you going off? You met this child who was abandoned in a caravan and you've managed to track down both his parents. How have you done that? Why have you done that? Why have you gone through all the effort of doing that? Couldn't you have just like, okay, right, couldn't you have just gone to like a jewelry shop, got a similar looking chain and going, oh, look, mate, there you go. It's, it's your nan's chain. It's your dead nan's chain. You got it back here. I mean, it's a little white lie. It won't hurt anybody, and it'll make him feel a lot better. Like, he'll never know. He'll never know. You can, you can, just, get him a, you can just get him a similar necklace. Wait, wait, wait. Should we ask that guy? I'm looking for, we're looking for David Johnson. Uh, yeah, that's me. Right, okay. Okay. Me. Is, yes. your, is your son by any chance uh, Marshall? Yes, Marshall yes, Johnson, him. Yeah? yes. Have you seen him recently? I haven't seen him for a long time. Is this kid's dad, Jim, from Friday Night Dinner? Why is he putting on this voice? What is this? Who is he trying to convince? No one talks like this outside of beloved British sitcoms. Pineapple chunks for vitamins. That is literally saying on, on the, the left hand side now. Oh, it's yeah, the driveway. It's, should, it's, we, it's, should we reverse it? Just go straight on the driveway. Really. Sure? Yeah, yeah. You reckon? Might as well. Edge of your seat stuff this is. I can see why you left it in, Lewis. Love a bit of reversing into a driveway content. Will he make it? Will he crash into a wall? Who knows? Right, okay, stop the video right there. I need to let you guys know that there is 85% of you guys that are not subscribed to the channel. Yeah, there's probably a reason for that, mate. Well. 
don't like putting cameras in people's faces, but sometimes it's got to be done. Yeah, totally understandable, Lewis. But sometimes you just got to go to a child's house and film him and his mum and put it on YouTube because he stole a necklace off your mate. Putting cameras in people's faces on their doorstep should only be reserved for the worst in society. You know, nonces that get caught in stings. Blow, blow, blow. You dirty, greasy, nonsense bastard. And children that steal necklaces. The real degenerates. Evidence, isn't it? Exactly. Protect her, protect ourselves. What, in case a massive scrap erupts between <laughs> between you two and a mother and young son for stealing a necklace. I need you to either go and get him or tell us where he is. Okay, well, he's, he's, you guys are going to have to go. I'm sorry about that. Well, we're not going to go. You have to. Yeah. We're not going to go. Right, come on, oi. You Keep the door open. This is very aggressive. I, I know this is fiction, but being real, he nicked a necklace. I don't I don't think all this force is warranted. You know, putting, putting your foot on someone's door. It's on, like a, on like a mother who's home alone's door. Putting your foot on her door because her son stole a necklace like trying to force your way into her house come on why am i saying come on as if this isn't <laughs> as if this is not fiction but it's sentimental <laughs> there's no replacing that Mate, money can figure out a way to get this chain back for we need to go and smash the door yeah go on lewis that's a fantastic idea i think you should do that get arrested for burglary to get back what like a 20 quid necklace these are some very wise ideas you're coming up with my friends and i think you should pursue them wait that's him wait, that's him that's let's him. go let's go let's go Okay, again, I am very aware that this is fiction. This is not real. This is a fabrication. But you'd think that Lewis would want to portray himself as the protagonist in these videos. And I think that's what he thinks he's doing. But all he's done is say he's going to kick a single mother's front door in and manhandle a 12 year old on his doorstep. Not just him, him and his mate, like two full grown men going and manhandling a 12 year old boy on his doorstep. Like he just comes across as an overreactive villain. And I understand that for the purposes of this story, it's, just, it's not just a necklace, it has sentimental value. But that doesn't mean you can basically stalk and then snatch and grab a kid. Yeah, go and get sorry, the chain. Get him sorry, to get the chain sorry, right now. Sorry. Where's the chain, bro? I don't, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. He's bullshitting you, Lewis. I think you should go ransack the house and lock this child in a dungeon for his wicked ways. Yeah, he is terrified, Lewis, okay? Come on. Right, look. Where's that chain gone? We need it back, okay? I, it. I love this, as if this guy hasn't been just as aggressive. Yeah, Lewis, mate, calm down, calm down. You're scaring the boy. Where the fuck is the chain, you little shit? Oh! I sold it. This will not make Lewis happy. I'd be surprised if your house is still standing after Lewis is done with it, you thieving little shit. Filming is for protection, for evidence, so I know exactly what's happened, because this is not good. But I haven't consented to... You don't need to consent. The yeah. fact that your son has stolen... I, I mean, she does. You can't just go into someone's house and film them and their kid without consent. Whether or not he's stolen something, you can't just do that. <laughs> what are you talking about, Lewis? Stressing me out to be honest. Why? You don't need to be doing all this. And I, I, again, 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 I know it's fiction. But like, if you have the video evidence of someone stealing something, and you have their address, you could just take it to the police. I know it's a Lewis Clark video, but there are so many holes in this story. Why was this mother so receptive to let them enter her house after these two weird blokey blokes hunted down and manhandled her child? Why are they saying it's okay to just go into someone's house and film them without permission? Why didn't they just call the police on the child? This video is is falling apart at the seams. It is a crumbling mess and I'm disappointed. I expected better world building from you, Lewis. Mm -hmm. Right, and that necklace was in my car, okay? It was in my car in an envelope, sure. all right? In an envelope and inside the envelope was also 2,000 pounds cash. Hey, why the fuck is he more pissed off about the necklace? No way is that worth more than two grand. Come on now. This is another failing in the story. Sentimental or not, two grand is two grand and I'm taking that over a 50 quid chain any day. You didn't realise about the cash. cash. No, right? It's a necklace. It's the necklace. Warm. Cash, right? Don't okay, care about the cash. I mean, while you're already there and a, a couple of minor crimes deep, you may as well try and recover the money as well. But you know, Lewis Clark, he's a good guy. He just wants to do right by his mate and get his chain back. He doesn't care about the money. He's willing to hunt down and grab a child and film without consent in his mother's home to look out for his mate's piece of metal. He's willing to be sent down to the slammer for this chain. That's where the chain went. I've done my nut. I've done everything I possibly can. This is all right, mate. Calm down. Your hands will be red raw if you're not careful. What are you going to do to sort this situation we will, out? We will if, figure if... it out. Yeah, what are you doing to sort this situation out, blindsided mother who has two random men in her living room shouting and demanding the return of a necklace? What are you going to do? Harvey is so distraught, he's not here today, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's forget age for a second. Yeah. Okay. If Harvey was here instead of Rob right now, mm -hmm. 
your it kid would not be on. sitting there. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean your child would not be sitting there? Are you saying your mate would have killed a child for stealing his necklace or something? Because surely not. But I don't know how else to interpret this. Maybe kidnap? I don't know. Your kid would not be sitting there. What an insane thing to say. You're not painting your mate in a very good light. If I'd stolen his chain, I wouldn't give it back to him after that character reference. I'd feel no remorse about keeping that chain. His nan is dead. Do you understand? Have you got a nan still? You do? Okay. Right, one day she might pass away. Well, she will. Not might. Definitely will. Correct me, man. We're parents, right? Mm-hmm. Are you a good parent, would you say? I try my best, Right, yeah. well, your son's a thief, and now you won't let him fix it. Right, so well, sort no, yourself out. He's really not making himself out to be the one in the right ear, is he? Fuck it out. Half the time he's been here, he's just been berating the kid. And the other half of the time, he's been berating the mum, being like, you're a shit parent. What's that got to do with the issue at hand? You know he's in some serious trouble. Yes, I know that. If you want, I'll just go out there, make a call, and bring Harvey round, and you can speak to Harvey. Yeah, I don't There isn't going to be so. any talking because Harvey's a very frustrated guy right don't now. Don't think so. Yeah, you better give us a chain right now or do you want us to get our mate round who we just insinuated would cause serious harm to your child? Yeah, thought not. Come on, we'll take it. Right. Come on, we're right. going. No! Right, and you. Get, get off, off him. Him. Right, let's go. Get off him. I think you guys need to leave now. Wait, wait, where, where do you think Let you're going? Go. Where do you think you're going? I don't going? want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want, I wouldn't say you have to, get to the go. Chain back. This is such a weird video. Two grown men fake beef with 12 year old child and grab him numerous times. A lot of people watching these videos don't seem to understand that they're fake because to be fair to them, the acting is pretty good. So you're portraying yourself as essentially a child snatcher to these people for some reason. Right, I think you guys need to leave now. We're not leaving. You need to leave. This is my house, you need to leave. I love how they just stand in silence after that because they, because they know she's right. Well, that's the end of that video, but don't worry, guys, because uh, the saga does not end there. We have the next instalment of the critically acclaimed 12-year-old boy series. I met up with the 12-year-old boy's dad to snitch on him, police called. What is that? Huh? i to my... Okay. What? Pop the wait! Okay, it's acting. I get it's acting, but this is still a bit rough, though. Like, this is on a public footpath. If anyone sees you, they're just going to think you're jumping a small boy. Speak, bro. He speak. Has, he has the necklace. But you sold him that guy the necklace? Yes, I did. Run, bro. Go and see if he's there. Go and see. Oh, this mad man is going to rip that guy limb from limb. He doesn't even care if it's acting. He's so in character, he actually believes he stole his dead man's chain. Also, this guy is casted so perfectly. He's just the personification of an R.I.P. Nan tattoo, isn't he? He's my dad. Are you serious? He's my dad. What? Well, that is a twist in the tale. I feel like how cinema audiences in 1980 felt watching Empire Strikes Back when Darth Vader tells Luke he's his father. You better tell us right now where the chain is. Oh, come on now, Lewis. You can't peanut a man in front of his son. That's crossing a line. He'd have lost all respect for him as a father. He'll never look at him the same way again. Your name's Marshall, yeah? Yes. What's your son's name? Marshall. There we go. Class, great detective work, Lewis. You've cracked the case wide open. Harvey's a not very happy man, and I understand the same thing, right? And someone is going to get taken out and someone... Yeah, if you don't give the chain back, my fucking mental mate is going to beat you up in front of your son and then boot him against the wall. You don't want to mess with him. He's got R.I.P. Nan tattooed across his peck. Bro, empty the suitcase. Where's the chain? Give it a chain. <laughs> Just shuts in the van, bro. Well, yeah, he just held a fucking axe to him over a chain. This is such a stupid scenario because I'm pretty sure they are trying to portray themselves as the victims. Victims of theft. Victims of an emotional crime. The chain had sentimental value. They're very upset. And then his weird mate basically just threatened to violently kill him. And now they're like, oh, what? He's locked us in the van? Yeah, that seems like an appropriate response. Get out of the van. Bro, he's crashed, bro. Dad? He's, bro, he's crashed. He's actually crashed it. Bro, he's actually crashed it, bro. Oh, no! Bro, check the front. Check the front for the chain. Oh, yeah, that's the priority. Lewis is potentially stood next to a corpse, and he's still like, oh, yeah, let me just... Just check the glove box. Go to fucking Ernest Jones and get a new one at this rate. My days! You can't beat up a kid, bro. Can't beat him up. I can make him earn it back. What do you mean by that? Well, you can send him down the mines? That's such a weird thing to say in response to you can't beat up a kid. Which is a great piece of wisdom from Lewis, by the way. And I think we should all ponder upon that. I can make him earn it back. Like, I thought it was about the sentimentality of it, not the money. Well, that's the end of that video. But what if I told you that's not... 
the end of the story. There's more. 12 year old kid found living homeless, police called. And I'm, I'm just thinking, hasn't he, <laughs> hasn't he said that in his last couple of titles? Police called. Is that just a thing he does in every title? Yeah, literally. Every title has police called in it. I can't see one that, okay, that one says, uh, that one says gone badly wrong. But other than that, every single one that says police called. Bro, what a day, bro. What a day. I love the idea that Lewis is just constantly filming for no reason at all, saying idle NPC dialogue like, Ah, oh, what a marvellous day! What was he intending on using this footage for? What was he doing? Oi, 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 hey, stop, 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 it's you, it's you, stop, stop. What have you just taken? G give me it now. Mate, that guy has the awareness of a sloth if he's managed to get pickpocketed like that. He, he deserves it. I've been pickpocketed before and I deserved it. I'll tell you the story now. I was in Spain. I was with my friend. We were drunk. We were loudly speaking in English, which, I mean, we were making ourselves easy targets. Four guys come up to us and go, hey, man, how are you doing? And they're like, they're like patting us and I'm uh, like, I'm stupid, right? I'm stupid. So I didn't realize they were pickpocketing me, but they were like dapping, dapping us up, patting us on the shoulders and stuff. And it's like... Obviously, they were pickpocketing us in hindsight, but I just didn't clock on because, as I said, I am a fucking idiot. So anyway, the guys walk off. I turn to cross the road and uh, I go to reach for my pocket to check my phone. I'm like, oh, fuck. It all, it all, it all the pieces come together. That should have come together about a minute ago. And I just look, I'm, I would not do this if I was sober because this is a stupid idea because there were four of them. There were two of us and all four of them were far bigger than the both of us. So I look, I, I look at them. They're maybe 10 meters down the road and I just go, why? They turn around. Give me my fucking phone back! And then well, they just whip out my phone and give it back to me. I don't actually know why to this day they gave me my phone back. There were no police around or anything. There was no one around. They could have just gone, no. And I'd have had to go, oh, okay then. I'm not going to fight four people over my phone. But yeah, that's that's my pickpocketing story. I can tell from experience, this guy deserved it. What is this? I'll tell you what it is, Lewis. Not a very efficient spot to be asking for change. What's the foot traffic down this little dead end valley? Zero, I'd be willing to bet. Come on, kid. Screw your head on. Wait, right, call Rob. Call Rob. Call Rob. Right. Get, the, get all the boys here, bro. Yeah, come on. Get all the boys down. Let's interrogate this homeless 12-year-old that's living in an alley. Because that's the right thing to do. Also, how unemployed are all his mates supposed to be in this story? Do none of them have jobs or, like, places to be in the middle of the day? Can they just drop what they're doing to gag up on a child in an alleyway? Again, this is another story floor, Lewis. You really need to iron these out. I've right, got Jake. Yo. What's that, Ruskin? What the fuck? What the fuck? entrance is that? Another plot hole. No way can you sit on the back of a car going what, 40 without falling off and dying. Also, I've obviously cut up the original videos, but these guys arrived within like 30 seconds. Are they just like constantly driving around where Lewis is in case he needs backup to deal with a 12 year old? Where'd you get it from? That could have been Start anyone. talking, boy! Literally no one in these videos is likeable. It's quite impressive how Lewis Clark has managed to make every single character in this story an absolute villain. Like, the, the bull guy is just fucking awful. He's like, he's like the most aggressive man, and he goes, Oh, Lewis, you know, you gotta calm down. Shut up, boy! Tell us where this, the necklace is! You got the fucking angry management R.I.P. Nan guy. You got Lewis himself. You got the, the thieving child. I do not like a single person in these videos. <laughs> these videos are borderline unwatchable to me. The only reason I'm watching them is obviously for the video. But I don't understand how anyone would be able to sit down and watch this as entertainment because you're not rooting for anyone. I'm not rooting for any of these people because they're all awful. This is my run. This is my run. Quick. Wow. Mate, she's going crazy. The worst son I've ever had. Oh my god. Are you sure she can't see you leaning around the corner with your massive camera going, oh my god, oh my god, and four or five other men looking over your shoulder? Oh my god, bro, she just threw the teddy in you. They're literally in plain sight. They're like, like they're, not, they're not hiding. They're in plain sight. He's like poking his big fucking DSLR camera around the corner and probably stood like this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, she's giving him something. She's giving him something. What? I don't know, like a blue blue item. Blue condom or something. Mate, you're you're strange, you are. Yeah, his mum gave him a blue condom, that's what happened. Oh my god, she's just she's been telling me to take all of this. I got Okay, props where it's due. This kid is a decent actor. A lot of this video is one take. I'd crack at some point if I were him. Give him an Oscar. Brilliant. She was, she was wearing it on the day you came to our house. Now there is another twist in the tale. I can't lie. 
I am a little bit invested in this story now, even though I vehemently dislike all the characters. I want to know what's going to happen with the chain. I promise you lot, yeah? I promise you lot, whoever's watching at home, yeah, we're going to find out who those jewels are and we're going to return them. Oh, thanks, Lewis. Oh, you're, you're such a hero. You're such a good guy. You're, 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 the, you're the hero of this story, you are. No, even though okay even though his acting is fucking weird in it like this guy is like the r.i.p nan guy is just proper aggressive with the kid in he like, like you don't need to be doing all this you don't need to be grabbing on the kids well harvey i hope you get your chain back or or whatever I, actually I, I don't really care and to you watching this video like and subscribe or a small child will steal your dead nan's chain